Today, I'm going to get fired from my job. I don't know why I'm smiling. Hello everybody, I'm Kyle Keard and welcome to Prank the Boss. Apparently Miss T's boyfriend, I forget his name, is now my boss. So it goes without saying, we need to prank him. Level one. Hello boss. Oh, hello. Francis, oh my gosh. Just hearing him made me realize what his name is. What is he wearing? Trip and fall? How about some, some oil? That, that seems like an effective way to make your boss get a concussion. Yep. 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 Oh my gosh, he turned into Sonic the Hedgehog for a second there. <laughs> oh my head. Okay, I understand. So we can put a time bomb on his chair. Beautiful. Blue. Or we can watch an ad and do something with a jetpack. First I gotta know what what is the time bomb gonna do? Like, this seems a bit excessive. For a Frank? Who spilled oil? Um, maybe you should find. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, we're going jetpack. What? You're strapping a jetpack to his chair? How is he not gonna Who notice oil? that? I, he didn't notice. And maybe I've actually done him a favor. He's flying. <laughs> oh gosh! Straight through the window. All right, mission accomplished. Boss pranked. Level two. What is he eating? What is that? It looks like he's eating firecrackers. Make it delicious. Well, I always like to add just an ungodly amount of red peppers to my sandwich. So, uh, enjoy that. Yep. Eat up, bud. That's good, huh? Yeah, that's real good. <laughs> That'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't let him open. Tape or spring? You know what? Tape seems like the obvious choice, but I feel like spring is just weirder. So let's go with that. He opened it. Oh. What? Oh! That's brutal. Make it worse. Blowtorch? What? I I'm going to go with glue because I don't want to catch my boss on fire. Oh, mm. Is this the play? Is this, is this what we want? Oh, he can't, he can't open it. He can't open it because it's glued shut and he can't cool his mouth because, because he can't get to his soda, which soda doesn't typically cool your mouth after getting something really spicy in there. But either way, he's having a bad day and it's because of me. And that's a win in my book, but apparently we failed. All right, we'll give it another go. I'm going premium this time. Pepper spray. Seriously? That, I, I don't know how you're gonna survive that situation. Oh no. Yeah. Because you just ate pepper spray, my guy. So I think we were on the right track. We used the spring first. That snaps his hand. And then we bust out the blowtorch. They always say you need to apply heat and then cold to injuries. So that's all I'm doing. What? Why? Oh, because he's going to pick up the soda and it's going to be super hot. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it was the soda can because it got so hot. It burst open, rocketed right into his face. Couldn't have planned it better myself. If I get this, does it mean that Francis is gonna be wearing this ridiculous hat? Let's find out. Yes, yes it does. That is so dumb. An embarrassing moment. I don't even need to do anything. Look at the way he's dressed. He's already embarrassed himself. <laughs> okay, that wasn't nice. Let's fart spray him. What is fart spray? I don't know, probably spray that smells real bad? Oh, that's my guess. Oh yeah, okay, so He's going to sit down, it's going to go off, and people are going to think that he farted. And he can't stop. He can't stop. He can't control it. <laughs> Seemed like someone farted. <laughs> um, let's turn on the projector. Oh, no. Why? Why? 
Oh, and then we're going to glue the remote. You got to glue the remote so that he can't actually turn it off. Maybe? Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> can't turn it off. Oh, no, he changed it. So we probably failed. Okay, so the glue didn't work this time. I guess we're going with a bomb. Yes, instead of the remote, he's going to pick up a bomb. How did he not notice that? I guess we work very quickly. I don't want to be here. Francis is taking a shower. No, he's he's getting a tan. Turn my dude yellow. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> so bad. Maybe he likes it though. I don't know. I just, I hate everything about this. I hope this he's so mad. Now what? What do you do? You cover him in oil? I feel like oil would almost work better than shampoo. Maybe? I don't know. No, probably not. Let's give him some oil. Yep. Yes. You look so much better now, Francis. <laughs> yeah, I could have could have seen that coming. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. I'd say I feel bad, but I don't. Sleeping on the job, huh? Let's give him some incense. I know this is not what you're supposed to do, but he's been through a lot. Let's let him relax. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I fully intended for that to happen if I lit the incense. I just wanted my guy to get a little relaxation. Oops. All right, I guess we'll just go for the shovel. Why? Oh, he's gonna step on it. No, okay, normally you step on it the other way. That was kind of impressive that he stepped on the handle and the front of the shovel hit. <laughs> so stupid. Block the doorway with rubber. Okay. I don't that that's a wood plank. Oh no! <laughs> it's a giant rubber band. Okay. Definitely how I intended that to go. All part of my master plan. I'm just going for a jog out in the park. And I'm following you. Who's the real weirdo now? Yes, a lovely day for a jog. Here, have a firecracker. Where am I going to put it? In your pants. Yep. Okay. Nothing except for run directly into a tree. What's wrong with this guy? A popping seat. I guess I'll just put a balloon if that's what the game wants me to do. But I do like the idea of him sitting on a bench that has wet paint. <laughs> what is that? What did you just pick up? Oh, I understand. He he got his handkerchief to, to wipe off the mud. I do hope that's mud. So I put itch powder. I put itch powder on the, the hanky and then he's actually covering himself in something that's going to make him very uncomfortable. Yep. So itchy. The opportunity to put Francis in a fedora? Sign me up. Oh, Francis is uh, going on vacation. Is he going on vacation? Oh, that's messed up. Plant a metal object in the bag so he can't get through TSA. Bolt cutters. That would be something that would probably cause some suspicion, I would say. You're gonna do great, Francis. No concerns whatsoever. Getting through security there. Oh, this dude's hey, mad. Stop. Hey, you stop! <laughs> Why? Why? That is not the way to handle security situation. Don't let him comply. Um, what does that mean? I guess shampoo. He just got punched in the face by a TSA agent. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's gonna get I it's pretty much the worst case scenario for Francis and um I couldn't ask for more. Mess with his luggage? Boxing glove or iron? I have no idea. I'm going to go with iron just cuz it seems so absurd, but I don't This is just going to make it really hot. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the security agent just, like, 
face dived into his gut. What a way to take out a criminal like Francis. Just head first, like a goat. We're at the circus. What happened to the office? Hello. This, like, stand guy is freaking me out. He's actually a mannequin. Like a living mannequin. Waste the drink. Um, let's use a needle. Like, poke a hole, right? Yeah. I'm so smart. <laughs> yes, that would be very, very disappointing. He's having a hard day. A, a hard, like, life. Oh, he did the Sonic thing again. Congratulations. You're now a hedgehog. Give him some nachos. Oh. Oh, no. Don't. No, 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 no. no that's going to... Oh, gosh. Okay. That was like molten lava nacho cheese. And now he's covered in it. It put a hole in his shirt. It was so hot, it melted his shirt. He died. He just died. I just killed my boss. Time for a drink. We've made it to the grocery store. Still following our boss. Still very weird. Send the boss on a ride. I mean, the classic is banana peels. But the oranges are slippery too. No, banana peel. 100%. That's going to send him flying. Unless he notices it. He won't notice it. You good? That was... Honestly, that was impressive. Okay, so banana peel was the wrong choice. He was prepared for it. He has like the greatest balance ever. So let's try oranges. What is the difference though? Oh, orange juice. Okay. I guess that works. Catch the boss. Trampoline. Although, I mean, a trampoline is, is kind of a good thing to land on, right? In this situation, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Nah, he's good. He doesn't need any help. He's totally fine. Pull him out. I mean, the rope is the obvious choice, but let's pull him out with an axe. Oh, gosh. Run. The mannequin man is coming for you. Oh, gosh. He's not a human. Oh! Okay. I thought for a second there that my boy Francis just took an axe to the back. So it's not always the not obvious choice because the axe was, was wrong. Now I'm just questioning all my decisions here. Okay, mannequin man. You're doing a great job. He's going to drop it. <laughs> he's, he's, he's too weak. He can't hold it up. Oh, man. I think the mannequin guy might be our friend. We're back in the office. Heat up the boss's feet. Um, I mean, both of these seem like effective ways to do that. But let's go with the candles because they're much prettier. They'll also burn longer. So it sort of makes sense. I don't know how he wouldn't notice that there's a fire literally underneath his desk. <laughs> what is wrong with his face, man? It's just not right. Okay, that was the incorrect choice. We'll use the matchbox this time. What's the difference? It's still a fire. It's a slightly smaller fire? No. It's the same situation. But for some reason, it's going to work this way? Yeah. Okay, we... So this time it just happened to catch his foot on fire. Now what? Typically, you don't want to turn on a fan if there's a fire. That's not going to help. That's going to make things worse. Okay, let's use a rope this time. I guess we'll just, like, jam up the fan. How's that going to work? <laughs> He's not the most observant guy, is he? Um, okay, so we need to give him a painful landing. The paper stack, I feel like, is too obvious. So let's go with the mattress. Maybe it's a really bad mattress. <laughs> called it. I called it. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty painful landing. What? Oh gosh, I think his leg is broken. What is this? It's just like a piece of torn fabric. All right, get it. I guess we won. Either way, it's safe to say that uh, I will not have a job <laughs> starting tomorrow. <laughs> Mission accomplished.